Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another software update video for our white Model 3 here, and we just got software update 48.12.1. Let's jump right in and check it out. Huge thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool and Nicola Pro at supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. Okay, so what we have here is the text messaging improvements, which we saw in one of the last updates, tracks to and sentry mode improvements. Okay, so sentry mode footage in the last panic event will now be saved to onboard memory. The sentry mode improvements is really great because if somebody breaks in your car and takes your thumb drive located, you know, down here underneath where you charge your phone, then you don't have any of the footage, but now it's gonna be saved to the onboard memory, which is really awesome. Hey, so hey, this tracks, I don't really use, I'm not that into it, um, so I can't tell you a lot about that. This text messaging improvements, I would say, is set up just like iMessage, which is a huge improvement. It still will not do group text messaging, so I hope that does come in the future. I'm not sure if that's something Tesla has to develop or that's a restriction uh, from Apple. So you can see here now it pops in and you can press on this button. And it, Jackie says, hi, what's up? So I'm annoying my wife right now, hi. getting her to tell me multiple things. So you can see here that if we click on messages that it's gonna tell us, and if I tap here, hi. We get a beautiful rendering and then I single press and it'll send the text message. So now when we click into the message, you can see everything that the car has been delivered. So it'll show you kind of in a conversational type of thing. It says, what are you up to, okay? Jackie says, what are you up to? So then I can double tap to dismiss or press again. So I'm gonna double tap on the steering wheel to dismiss, but I can always just tap here on the screen Oh, you know me, just doing another software update video in my car. So, does a really good job showing the voice to text here on the screen. Um, you can tap on the steering wheel or you can just tap on this and it'll send it. And again, it just jumps right into the conversation view. So you can really easily see the entire conversation. Now it doesn't show you, let's say like we had previous text messages. It's not gonna show you that. It just shows you everything um, since you've been in the car, since your phone's been connected to the car. But a huge improvement, I would say. Um, and I definitely think that the voice to text is also another really big improvement with this update. You can see that it's just really fast. Okay, so she says getting on the bike now. Um, you can also still swipe down to dismiss that. And then, okay, enjoy your bike ride, period. A bike to nowhere. Okay, so that's funny because she has a Peloton bike, so. She bikes really hard to go nowhere. But anyway, so text messaging has hugely improved. While I have you guys here, I wanna to talk to you about these new Bluetooth headphones that I got on Amazon for under 30 bucks. I hated the Apple AirPods because they always fell out of my ear and I could never work out with them. These ones are so great because of this little rubberized tip on the end of them that go right into your ear. They are super great so great that I got my wife a pair that she uses with her Peloton. Really super easy to connect to any Bluetooth enabled device like it's connected to my Mac right now recording this audio just so you guys can hear how well it is if you were going to have a phone call with this. Now obviously it's not perfect audio for recording a YouTube video like I'm doing right now but it is very sufficient in terms of having a phone conversation and I've never had anybody have any issues on the other end of the phone when I'm talking to them using this Bluetooth headset. The playback time in terms of hour is tremendous and I've gone on many 90 plus minute runs with these headphones while listening to music or streaming a podcast through these headphones. Really excellent and cannot be beat for under 30 bucks. I'm gonna have a link to these down below in the description. Okay, so there you have it. There is the newest software update uh, out for the public release. I know I'm really trying to get my hands on the FSD beta. So I'm gonna put a link below down to a couple other YouTubers that I've been watching, part of the Tesla community, and they've been doing an excellent job 
showing off the new FSD beta, which I hope I get my hands on. I was hoping that this was the holiday release, which I think was gonna have a few more features. So stay tuned for that. As soon as I get that software update, I'm definitely gonna push that out. That might be coming later this week. I'm just not sure. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each one of my subscribers. Thank you. Don't forget to share this video with a friend and I will see you guys in the next one.